All right, guys, so let's talk. You see this posted all across social media, this fake slob. Well, unfortunately, people are creating more and more fake slobs. So let me show you three examples of fake PSA slobs that are uh, floating around and how to determine it. Really, really important that you know. And again, with my series, I always talk about verifying the card inside as well as verifying the slab. Just because something slabbed up doesn't mean the card is real or the slab is real. You always do your due diligence um, before you buy a card, especially if it's an expensive card. And if a card's under $100, the chances of it having a fake slab around it, not really likely. Um, but when you get in these four and five figure cards, uh, there's a lot of scammers out there. So let's talk about these fake slabs. First, I want to show you guys what a real uh, slab looks like. So this is PSA's most modern slab uh, that has, has the lighthouse label. And right away, you can tell that it's fake because of the spacing here. Now, I think in later generations, whoever makes this is going to fill this up over here. But right away, you can tell this is fake because of the space. If you look at a real PSA slab, the red goes all the way across here. You see the spaces. Also, I can't 100% tell with this image that I got sent. Um, but it looks like the seal right here is a little bit different. So you see how this is two colored right here. And they have like that sparkle next to it. If you pull up a real PSA slab, you can tell um, this over here doesn't look like it. It just looks like it's printed on. So this is one of the security measures that PSA puts on their slabs themselves, which I really, really like. Another thing that I've noticed with a lot of these fake slabs is the writing itself. Uh, the text is always off. Um, you can see, see it's like subtle differences between the text between the two. Um, another thing that you can do is actually type up the certification number. So if you go on PSA's website, Right here, psacard.com slash cert. You can put in the certification number and actually take a look at the card itself. So I'm gonna put in the certification number here. You click verify and you'll see the PSA right here. And it says with Fugitive Ink Technology. And then if you go over here, you click the lot number. And what's gonna happen is PSA is gonna show you what the card looks like. So you can see this Luca right here, what the legitimate version looks like compared to the fake. And you can tell right away uh, this is messed up and that's honestly the best way to do it right now uh, because PSA has the images of the slab. So if it's been sold online or sold through an auction, PSA has an image already. You can load that up right there. So that's the first one. Another thing on the back I noticed is this isn't aligned. You can see it over here. Um, it is aligned to the left. But if you look at a real one and we'll go over here to this one, you can see it's aligned in the center. So Big difference on that again the centering on that one again you can also see the texture is different this has the little PSA logos the texture that just does not go there with the quality of that um, it looks like this is aligned good right there and um, the other thing is the coloring on the back so it might be the photo but the color looks off as well see this is darker this is a lot brighter so be careful with these cards guys because there's a lot of fakes floating around there um, and yeah, so that's that. And this is the next one right here. Uh, this is one that Steven almost fell for. Uh, this is a fake Jordan inside of a fake slab. Um, the text is all completely off right here. PSA never had a slab that looks like this. If you look at the early label slabs, it does not. Um, also on the early label ones, you'll see some of these dots over here in this slab. It does not have that completely off on the slab. You can check out the Michael Jordan video on my channel. Um, and if you want to see this in more and more detail, I talk about it over there. Another fake slab that I've seen and <laughs> they just keep getting worse. So this one doesn't even have the PSA logo. You can just see everything is completely off. And I'm sure if you type in that certification number, uh, it's completely different. So just going over three of the different examples of fake slabs right now, you have this one right here, which someone tries to mimic the modern version of the lighthouse label. You have the old certs, which start with a zero. You can see right here, it's missing the bubbles. The text is all completely off. And you have this one, which I don't even know how to describe it. It doesn't even look like anything with a PSA slab in. Best of ways you can do it is actually looking up the certification number. Um, but if their card hasn't been certified online with a sale, just look up other cards with a similar certification number online and look at the comparison. Now, People do submit cards to get re-slabbed with the newer versions, um, but there are always f other ones on eBay that you can take a look at or my slabs or any other website you want to go out there and you'll be able to see the design 
uh, based off of the certification number. And there's a lot of checklists online as well. So guys, be careful. Again, always check inside the cart as well as the slab. You have to double check nowadays because there's so many fakes out there. And best way to go out there is just take a look at a real example. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. And I'll catch you guys on Friday with another fake video. Mm -hmm.